Hi guys, welcome back to my channel again. So for today, I'm going to review the Paris Ink Velvet Lipstick. So I actually got pretty much all their colors because I was so obsessed and I can't really choose which color to choose from and it was actually on sale on uh, Style Korea, that's why I bought pretty much most of them, I couldn't control it, so I got all 12 of them. So um, there are actually 15 shades, so I'm going to show you guys um, what I have. So they are quite a lot, so I have all these, so these are all the, um, the Peripera's Paris Ink Velvet Lipsticks, so I have 12 of them. and. Um, there are actually originally 10, sh um, 10 shades that they came up with and then they actually added 5 more shades um, for their spring collection. So this is actually a combination of the original 10 shades and also the spring collection. So I'm going to swatch them and tell you guys my first impression on how it looks like and um, I'll do a gradient look and then I'll do a full on lip color. So stay tuned and let's see how it looks. Since this is actually very staining, uh, I'm not gonna swatch it in a chronological number because I would have a very difficult time to remove the reds. So um, what I plan to do is I'm going to do the lighter shade to the darker shade, which means that you know from a very flesh to like orange, pink, red, and then the darkest, just so that you can easily actually see the color. Because if I start using the red and then I it actually stain my lips and I use the peachy color, then you can't really see the the natural color. So I'm going to do that, but don't worry, I'm going to put the. Uh, the, the number or the shade name so that you'll have an easy easy time to um, to um, distinguish which color it is. So number 12 is the pure peach color. So this is how it looks like when it's in gradient. If you have very pale lips and you want like vibrant color then I guess this is not the color for you but um, this is actually a very nice color. and. In terms of the smell, it's actually very fruity, it doesn't bother me, I really love it, so it's up to you guys. And in terms of texture, it's very moussey and it's not dry, it's not those um, it's not those liquid lipstick where there's this thick layer of lipstick on top of your lips, so it's not nothing like that. So once you apply it, you can easily feel that you, you're actually applying lipstick or like a liquid lipstick but then it easily dries and doesn't feel like you have lipstick so yeah this is pure peach and this is the gradient look and I'm gonna apply now the full-on lip color So this is pure peach. For some reason it looks very bright in the camera but it's actually very peachy color. So this is how it looks like and so yeah, I love it. So now we're going to try out the next color which is, this is number 13, Charming Coral. So this is the gradient look. So this is Charming Coral guys, or um, full on lip color. For some reason it just looks pink in the camera but I'll do a swatch on my hand later at the end of the video so that you can actually see it. Because right now it seems like it's looking like it's pink, but it's actually it's actually kind of pinkish uh, peach color. So the next color that I'm gonna swatch is number eleven, the spring orange. So this is how it looks like. So 
So this is how the gradient lip looks like. It doesn't look gradient in the camera, but it is gradient. So this is how it looks like. This is the full lip color. Wow, this is so bright. So uh, it looks very orange, like very, you know, that red orange color. So that's how it looks like. Um, it looks very nice, but I think it really depends on which eye makeup you have so that you can fit this color in your whole face. So, yeah, so this is. Spring Orange number 11 So now the next shade that I'm going to swatch is number 3 Ink Rush Orange So I'm not quite sure whether this is pretty much the same as the Spring Orange But if you look at their packaging One is more Mandarin Orange and one is like slightly darker There's just a slight tint that is different between them, but it's pretty much the same color actually. So this is the full lip color. As you can see, it actually looks pretty much the same as the previous one. Nothing really special in this color, it's pretty much just the same. So now the next shade that I'm going to swatch is the number 7 Dollish Beige Rose. So this look like, looks like an old rose color, so hope that it's not too dark But I actually love that the packaging looks like an old rose So hopefully it does look like, the color looks exactly the same as the packaging Just so that, you know, it's kind of different If it is the same as this packaging, then it is something that not most Korean product usually would have this kind of shade It's not those typical Korean lip product where they always use bright colors. This is this is still bright but not too bright. It's kind of leaning towards like an old rose color but slightly brighter. So I love it. This is not your typical Korean lip product. So this is how it looks like in full lip. It doesn't look exactly the same as the box and the packaging. I mean the shade. Um, it, if, as you can see, it's the packaging looks slightly darker. So I would hope that. You know, they come up with a shade that looks exactly like this But for now, this is okay I love this, I love this, this shade The next shade that I'm going to swatch is number 10 It's Oops Fuchsia So this is it And I have a feeling that this is gonna stain hard on my lips I haven't even got into the red color so I don't know how my lips is gonna look like by that time. Ooh, I love the shade. I don't know if you guys can see. But this is a very nice fuchsia pink color with 
a blue tone in it. So it's really nice. Guys, I'm not actually doing it like neatly anymore because I'm gonna remove it anyway. So I'm just going to show you how it looks like on a full lip. But I'm not doing it very, very neatly. I mean, it's, if you look at it up close, it looks messy. So this is how it looks like. It looks very, very nice. I'm sorry guys, I had to take my time to remove it because it, the stain is really not coming off and I have to put like a very thick foundation just so that I can move on and go to the next shade which is which is number four wow pink so it's getting harder and harder to remove the lip tint so it's even gonna be more challenging once I go to the reds so I'm actually near that so this is again number four wow pink This guy's this is very bright pink but it's a very nice kind of bright pink so this is the graded look and this is the full-on lip This is uh, number 15, Girlish Red. It's actually quite nice. And I'm sorry guys, it, it seems like it now looks all the same, pretty much the same because of, I think, the lighting of the camera. And also, well, pretty much it actually looks all the same. Um, I'm just gonna swatch it in my hand later just so that you guys can see in close up how different they are from each other but on my lips it looks like it all looks the same so this is the girlish red so this is a very nice kind of red it's not too um, I would say not too bright. It has that tint of orange, but not so much. So, but I love it. It's not that kind of red that I won't wear. So, this is actually a very nice one. The next shade that I'm going to swatch out for you guys is the first or the number one, which is number one sellout red. It's 
slightly pink tint to it. So this is how it looks like on gradient, and this is how it looks like in a nice type of red as well. I love it. it. I don't usually wear red, but I think this is that type of red that you can wear for a dinner out or a party. So this is actually quite nice. The second to the last shade is number nine, which is the Love Sniper Red. So it looks kind of fake red brownish color in the packaging it doesn't look like in camera but in actual when you look at it it looks like one of those uh, brownish red color so hopefully it actually is that kind of color it doesn't even look like exactly like the packaging it looks like it's pink or maybe it depends on your lip color but on my lips it looks pink so this is how it looks like on full lip and last but not the least it's number six, which is the Celeb Deep Rose. I am quite surprised with this. It looks like nude on a very pigmented lips, which is quite nice. So this is how it looks like on a gradient. like on a full lip. So as you can see it actually is very staining. It has that um, like very strong lip tint um, power that actually holds the pigment into your lips. So you won't have any problems at all with I don't know like you know retouching and all that. So I I personally like this because I am the type of person who's very very lazy in you know doing touch-ups on my lips. I actually prefer um, using lip tints rather than lipsticks only because um, with lip tints you just don't feel that it's actually there and um, after you eat or drink you still have that, um, that pigment on your lips. So I actually love 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 lip tints. and. I actually give this Peri Peras Ink Velvet Lip Tints a thumbs up. I actually really love it. As you can see, my hands are stained and you can see a while ago, I was having a hard time removing it because it's really, really staining. So I don't know for you guys whether it's um, a bad thing or a good thing, but for me, I feel that it's a good thing. It's just not a good thing when you're doing reviews and first impressions because you have to swatch everything. Um, but if you're actually just using it, I think it's a, I think it's a great product. The feeling is not actually very drying, so I love that it's actually quite smooth. It actually smooths out your lips. So even though a while ago it felt like my lips is already dry because I was removing the product, it actually doesn't feel dry. So it's actually quite smooth, and when you're applying it, it actually just glides. The price, the packaging, it's all very very well. Um, well thought out. Here it is, the swatches on all 12 lip tints on the back of my forearm. This is just so that you can actually see the shades or the colors because it seems like on my lips it all looks pretty much the same probably because of my lip color or just the camera but um, this is for you guys to see how it actually looks like. So. I'm going to try to put on the description box uh, the timestamp for every single shade just so that you can go back and have a look on how it's going to look like on the actual lips. So I hope this video is very helpful to you guys. Don't forget
forget to leave a comment below and click the subscribe button and if you like this video hit like and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!